playing Bitch and Gaming. Today we are playing Life is Strange. It seems like an amazing game. I've seen the trailer for it and that's it. A lot of people tell me it's a really good game and I should check it out. So that's what I'm doing today. Hopefully it's, it's, it's an episodic game, I know that, about a girl who has the powers of time travel? That's what I've deducted from the trailer, which I saw a couple of weeks ago. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice, the consequences of all your in-game actions, and the decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Ooh, this is... this does sound good. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay, um, I'm gonna quickly sort out the audio settings because holy shit, it is loud. I think... I can't let the music sound good. Voices need to be loud and sound effects need to go way down. Way, way down. Ah, oh, that's better. Awesome. Sweet. That's mu that must be a lot better now. Okay, so we have this, uh, this girl. She looks like she's maybe 13. She looks about 13. Maybe 12, 13 years old. So we're trapped in a storm. She doesn't know how she got here. And... Holy shit. That is one hell of a storm. Oh, oh my god. So, what does this say? Blackwell Academy 1910. 1910, so... Are we in the past? Okay, we need to get into this lighthouse. Come on, Max. You can make it. Is she called Max? Holy shit. Holy shit, indeed. Look at that thing. It's huge. It's gigantic. I've never seen a storm like that. Whoa! No! Whoa! That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victor. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. So this is a photography class. Um, and this is what we've taken. So it looks like a picture of herself from behind and a wall of faces and just people. I like the lanterns. They look nice. Were you? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by I the I can't eyes. believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Seriously though. My little camera bag is battered but still kicking. And capture you in a moment of desperation. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? 
Okay. How many pages is it, guys? It's like... Okay. Um, so it's got things on different people, prologue. So it's kind of like the, the menu. You can message Dad, Kate, Mom, and Warren. Blackwell... Oh, wait, that... Is that the school we go to? Okay, so what's what's written in the journal? Okay, that, that's what we write. Can I move? No. Okay, what do we have? My name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens filter. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to an old analogue camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever. At least until I left without at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm, what she's she's not eighteen. She just, she looks like 12 or 13 years old. No. How? No. <laughs> Bloody hell. Then again, some people can be like, you know, early 20s and still look like 12, so. Who knows? So I'm 18 now, an official adult even though I don't always feel so wise or mature, and I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with no re with a retro camera at my side. Okay. okay. So not only is Mark Jefferson one of my the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher, and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof, and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analogue images. He really wants me to enter a photo with this everyday heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get a national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win. I'm honoured Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. I forgot, okay, Kate probably don't care. Shush, I'm dreaming. Who is this? Victoria Chase Elite. Oh, okay, this is a total bitch. Let's read this. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be a fu so fucking mean. 18 year olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for a maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and ta taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund. Then again, she's Vortex in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school. Okay, I, I don't really... I'd probably find this and out... And any one of you could do that to me. In the story. Isn't that too easy? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. ...capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. 
Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um... Uh... I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a oh. French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first Sorry, time I Max. No more selfies right now. Robert Cornelius. Okay. Um... You can find out all about him Ooh, in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. Sorry, I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> okay. What can a girl look at? Yes, Victoria. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Ooh, of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Who is this? Kate. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have uh, just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no say? matter who wins. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. XOXO Blackwell Academy. Yeah, I, I can read that. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't so, want anybody to feel excluded from this process. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor Hi, Kate. Oh. Everybody. Hi, Max. I have my moment in the camera eye and... Everybody should have that totally. shit. Um, I only want to share whatever gifts I, hope I, I have didn't embarrass you. Katie, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. But what I really want to know is... Um, what's this about a porn video? Uh, shall I go look it up on the computer? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Okay. Uh, yes, this that is printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Let's just take pictures of everything. Oh, achieve what unlocked macro eyes. Like, I want to kind of get every, uh, oh, shall we look at her notebook? Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Jefferson. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um, do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. How is she 18? To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist 
from the amateur. Okay. Um, I don't want to look at her. Uh, camera. Let's look at this camera. Whoa. Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Let's look at these You pictures. can never escape the lighthouse here. Okay. Uh, anything else we can look at? What's this forest? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Okay, uh, ooh, a TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Ooh, what, what's this? Photo contest. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Okay, um... So, we need to get a good photo for this photo competition. And maybe, depending on what kind of a photo we get, can change the past, present, and future. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The okay. amazing Eugene Smith, good to see Abaddon among the masters.